Hello, my name is Amy and I'm going to show you how to install additional language keyboards on your computer. Tonight I'm going to show you how to install the language keyboard on both the Windows and the Mac. To add an additional language on your keyboard, go to your Start menu, then the Control Panel, and under the Clock Language and Region setting, click on the link that says Change Keyboards and Other Input Methods. Then you'll be in the tab that says Keyboards and Languages. Click on Change Keyboard. And this will show you, this is my default input language. And these are all of the keyboards I already have installed on my computer. But if I need an additional one, I click on Add. And then I go to the one that I want. Click on the keyboard you want click on preview and it will show you what it will be like when you install the keyboard. So I don't want to install Russian but if I did I'd press OK then I press apply and then I would check in the language bar and make sure that these settings are as I want them. Now I have my language bar docked in my taskbar but you can also have it floating on your desktop. I've had it both ways, it works. Just don't have it hidden. Now press OK and press OK again. And if you only had one language on your keyboard before, you will see that this is your new language keyboard toolbar and you can switch between the languages just doing this. Or to do it on your keyboard, just press Alt shift and that will shift between them. So I'm going to show you cool things with Japanese first. This when it has an A here it's not going to type in Japanese. No. So you need to click on hiragana and then go and then press the space bar twice and it'll show you all your different options for this. If you want it to be katakana, which is one of the Japanese alphabets, press F7. If you want it to be just hiragana, press F6. And if you want the kanji, um, when you press the space bar, usually it knows what you want, but if it's wrong, then press the shift bar twice and I'll show you alternatives and then you can just press the number that you want. For the Chinese keyboard, you can press shift to go between the English or the Chinese, and then this you can press the space bar. Next I'm going to talk about installing additional keyboards on a Mac, which is super simple. All you have to do is click on the Apple, then System Preferences, then in the Personal setting, there's the language and text, click on that. Then I typed in what language I want in the search field, clicked on Chinese Simplified, and that's it. That's all you needed. In the upper right hand corner, there was a US flag, and you can click on any one of those to manually change it, or you can press Command Shift, and if you have more than one language, you just keep clicking shift until you get to the language that you want. Now the cool thing about the Mac is that, for example, if I used, if my latest one was Katakana, the next time I go to change my keyboard, all if I do command shift, it'll just go back to the US keyboard. You don't have to go through all of them again, which is nice because you don't do that in the Windows. I have shown how to install additional language keyboards on both Windows and Mac machines, as well as some keyboard shortcuts. 